This is a playtest of a combat system for an RPG called Sticks and Stones by Rob Luff. It is a it is a foolish published RPG, so you can buy the book and have all sorts of caveman um, encounters. But this game that we just that you just watched is a is this com is a playtest of his combat system. It is very, it's a very fun game to do. Um, the only the only thing is you cannot talk any ling English language, foreign language, or any language, living or dead. It is all grunting, groaning, hand gestures. Um, facial gestures, whatever you can think of to communicate with the rest of your tribe what you want them to do in order to win this game. Mug! 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 Basic mechanics are standing here in front of you. I have everything you need to play the game. You have a hand. The hand will let you do. If you want to walk your figure, you're going to walk your figure from the length of your index finger to the tip. If you want to run, you're going to measure out from the tip of your thumb to the tip of your pinky. That's a run. If you're going to climb a hill, you can climb a hill the length of your pinky, so you're going to basically climb one level of a hill. And then the next turn when your card comes up, you'll climb the next level. The weapons that you have, it's clubs, spears, and bow and arrow. A club, you have to become base-to-base -base contact with your opponent for a club, for a rock or a spear, then you can you have this far of a range from the tip of your pinky to the tip of your thumb. Each tribe also has a member with a bow and arrow, and the length of a bow and arrow is from the tip of your pinky, or the range of a bow and arrow is from the tip of your pinky to the tip of your pinky, all the way through with thumbs touching. When you are running, when you run, which is this, you cannot throw a spear. You're trying to get into base-to-base -base contact when you run. If you want to walk, then you may throw a spear or fire a bow and arrow. Or you can just stay put and fire your bow and arrow or throw your spear. Um, combat resolution. Very complicated. It is rock, leaf, or spear. In this game, we don't do this. If we do this, then we have to re we have a redo of the result. Um, so that is a combat system. It is one, two, three, and then you go either rock, leaf, or spear. You only do damage when you attack. If you are the, the if you are the defender, you do not damage your attacker. Zora. It is a six member tribe. The chief, one tribe member warrior with a spear, a second one with a club, and a third with a bow and arrow. And then also you have the female of the tribe, and each tribe has a pet guardian dinosaur. You can think of it as a Tyrannosaurus rex or any other meat eating dinosaur that they're the protector. Big tooth! Big tooth! Big tooth! Your chief has two attacks when they attack. Everyone else has one attack. 
And when you come down to your dinosaur, guardian dinosaur, the guardian dinosaur has three attacks. It has a bite and two claws. So it is rock, leaf, spear to decide who wins each combat round. Now, one tribe has something more technology than another. He has what's called, one member of that tribe has what's called a shield. If you attack the shield carrying warrior on the first try and you are successful, the shield protects them and you do it again in order to break through his shield. That is sticks and stones. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like us, subscribe.